Hello and welcome YouTubers and in today's episode we have very famous, legendary Campagnolo data brakes. Particularly this model, this is third generation, uh, five pivots. That was built in um, this color, silver, and uh, you can find much expensive version, slightly darker, called century finish. Uh, we try to open the brake, which one is already tricky. That's how it looks like inside. Uh, we have those pivots which one moving sideways, compression the braking system, and that was uh, uh, working and helping braking. Uh, Particularly this one, this is rear brake, as we see, because it's a short bolt at the back. Front version has slightly longer bolt in here, uh, which one gives you chance to fit this brake on the front fork. But quite often with modern bike, when the front fork is slightly wider than in vintage one to fit it this brakes is pretty tricky so you have to use the bolt which one is slightly longer than this one and going for the for the whole fork and give you a chance to fit it this brake to the bike uh, we have in this construction couple points of regulation we got we can set up the height of the brake in here that part is moving up and down like this or like that which one give you chance to uh, change the clearance between the tire and the bottom of the brake so if you try to fit it wider tires like 25 or maybe even 27 you have to move this thing downwards to make bigger clearance yeah um, I using 25 size tires with those brakes so you can adjust height here you can another another one point which uh, which one you can move the brake parts up and down over there so you just open this uh, you lose this bolt and you adjust the height of brake parts up and down yeah so that's the first point of regulation of the height that one is a second uh, another point when we can uh, adjust things there is of course uh, this mechanism which one give you opportunity to move the um, brake blocks that direction like this or like that and of course give you option to adjust alignment of the brake if it's not aligned the the, the brakes gonna be squeaking another point with alignment is those two bolts which one you can adjust when the brake parts getting worn out so you just unlock them or put them up and the brake blocks is going forward so you can use them a lot here yeah? another point of adjustment with these brakes is this setup so when you lock the cable you can twist this mechanism and the cable gonna be shorter in here which one give you chance to adjust the movement in this construction the cables brake cables going this way going through the whole system and is going out that way through through this hole so it's pretty tricky to basically adjust the brake and cut the brake cables which one is sticking outside if you left the cable in here you're gonna be touching this side inside yeah yeah to set up those brakes you need um, allen key which one you need to to bolt and unbolt the uh, rear fitting to adjust brake blocks in here another tool which one you need this is nine millimeter flat key which one's going in here and another 
Alam key, which one's going here, but that one is special Campagnolo 3.5 millimeters tool, which one is quite often lost in the history. So you can have you have to use the hack. That one is average four millimeters Alam key, which one was grinded to 3.5, and now it's fitting here. So you can open and close the brake without special tool but you have to be careful when you're doing that one because you can basically damage the bolt so it take your time do it one two three four ten steps to basically adjust properly and make the, these tools working yeah. another thing which one we have to careful is position of the brake blocks the brake blocks have as you see different construction from both sides they are open in here and they are closed from other side like this position so when you have rear brake and you can recognize that one because the bolt is short that one is a rear brake so it's not front one it's rear the wheels going that direction to avoid problem when the rim take the brake blocks with the rim when it's braking you have to put brake shoes like this so they are basically holding holding brake blocks and um, and avoiding situation when the brake blocks can slide down yeah so if you have if you could have brake blocks in this position and you're going to be braking that direction you can lose the brake pads so you have to careful with and remember about this stuff basically in every single construction of the brakes um, so you're putting cable in here, you're feeding through there, and the brake cable is going this way outside. Uh, those brakes, they look lovely, and design of this brake looks is, is extremely desirable, but uh, they are not the best one when we're talking about braking. The braking power is not excellent. I can tell them it's just um, it's just the average. So it's, if you want to racing on these brakes, um, I don't think so. It's excellent idea, but for every single day cycling, for recreation ride, for um, vintage build, for classic build, they're probably the best on the market. And when you put them, you have to be careful. They have to be like facing those sides like this don't leave them like that because the, the dust and dirt going through here just adjust adjust them to to make perfect alignment in here sometimes people ask for what purpose it is this part they are basically designed to make easier to put the wheels and feeding through the brake like this so if the wheels touch this thing just sliding inside and helps you to put the wheels in between the brakes they have um, they both the same um, that one is front brake and uh, the, the only one different is between the, 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 the length of the bolt which one they are fitting in here um, the positive about them they are pretty clean inside you can uh, because they are closed so they not holding dirt and dust inside they are pretty clean for a long time uh, but, they are, but they are very difficult to if you if you don't care about them and they're gonna be filthy inside you basically have to open all system and clean those brakes in fully and that one takes a lot of time and effort uh, quite often you can found those brakes with missing those um, uh, um, rubber rings but uh, you can replace them you can find those replace things on the ebay and uh, the last generation five pivot brake there was with uh, black rings F with black rubber you can find those brakes with white one as well and with the time both of them they could be perished on them because they are moving so uh, yeah you have to you have to take care about those lovely brakes yeah any question any comment please uh, leave down below and um, you're most welcome to see next episode 
Thank you very much and happy cycling.